All right, so in 2016 at the Rio Olympics, right? First of all, welcome to SoFlow TV again, everybody. It's your host with the most, right? So today we're coming to talk about Omar McLeod. And we're going to talk about his gold medal he recently got for Jamaica and the hurdles, even when Usain Bolt, the go-to guy who we thought was definitely going to get a gold medal in the 100 meters, was beaten by Tyson Gay Use and somebody else. You said actually ended up with a bronze medal. But bronze look close to gold, you know, if you hold them in a light and the light dim a little bit. But anyway, Omar McLeod is the shining star car. Omar McLeod actually brought Jamaica its first gold medal again. Again. When I say again, a lot of people weren't paying attention. Okay. Jamaican athlete Omar McLeod. I'm pulling this back. One Jamaica its first gold medal in the men's 110 meters hurdles at the 2016 Olympics Games, right? Now, y'all remember I featured Omar back then. When I'm, well, I think I did the, 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 the headline was a who them I call fish because some big executive from Lasco, everybody who come from Jamaica know Lasco, actually got on Twitter and tweeted about goldfish when Omar won that gold medal at the Olympics, right? And someone in Canada ran an article that was saying that Canada will gladly take Omar from Jamaica if Jamaica don't want him. Now, we all know who them call fish in Jamaica. So, I don't know if this person from Lasco came under a lot of pressure and actually ended up losing their jobs, or I don't know how that actually ended up working. Huh? He got fired. He got fired? Yeah, me don't know how that actually got worked out, but Brins out there said him got fired, right? Now, somebody wrote right under that article, just to show you the mentality of the people, because I'm going to segue right into what's going on now. We're not comfortable about Omar's sexuality, you know, but it's a, it's, a, it's a point where we have to throw it into the story, right? So check it. Somebody said, free speech. She said what she saw. He behaved effeminate when he won. Him no look straight. Alright, so if you remember the Olympics, go back and look at the 2016 Olympics and look at Omar McLeod after he won that gold medal in the 110 meter hurdles. His response was very, I would say, elated. I'm not going to say effeminate or nothing. I'm not going to lie, he look kind of fishy to me. I'm not going to say fishy. <laughs> it, it looked kind of feminine to me. Like, But who am I to say? The man rejoicing at a moment in history that not many of us will ever get to. How many of us are going to go to the Olympics and actually win a gold medal, right? So however him act is, however he acted in the moment. And I like said, enough of we are going to win the gold medal and then walk off and say, yo, my you, yeah, you see that, me deal with the race, rough. Yeah, or come out and strike a pose like you saying, Bolt. Omar chose to celebrate in the way he did. And a lot of people were saying it's very feminine looking, effeminate. And he is a homosexual. I've never heard him come out and say he was homosexual. But he has been pinned a homosexual. Still to this day, he still represents Jamaica with pride and dignity. The youth get him scholarship enough you know, from Jamaica. You know, left and go go foreign at university studying his earning degrees. On top of degrees. So he can very well end up running for a foreign nation. And you have to watch them foreign nations and enough of them will use that and say, Omar, you're more safe over here because your country is very homophobic. So may even give Omar more props because him not turning back on Jamaica. He said recently that it is a pride and joy thing for him to represent Jamaica on a world stage to the fullest, right? So people came out and said, I'm reading directly from the articles. One of them said, if the employee wants to use her own account and call a young man a batman, then that's her business. It was a she, not a he. One next person said, I didn't even cheer after I win the race because his reaction to the win, a fish is a fish in and out of water. And them kind of thing that was said, right? Another person said, America back Batman and gay men. And that's why they light up the place with the gay Batman colors, rainbows and all, when Omar win the race. So, I saw. Anyway, that was in 2016. Let's forward to 2017. Because he continues to represent Jamaica at the highest levels. Right? Here he is. 
having conquered the sprint hurdling world, freshly minted Omar McLeod will be turning his attention elsewhere and he hopes it will start with a leg on the Jamaica's 4x100 relay team at the IAAF World Championships in London. Yes, the same race where um, my youth that beat Usain Bolt and Usain never get him gold medal, but this was supposed to be his retiring race, right? Omar was the one that brought us, Jamaica, our first gold again. I mean, I don't know if anybody else bring with no gold yet, but he is hoping to get a part on the 4x100 meter really a team. And if you ask me, I would say put him there. Put him in the game, coach, because he can do it. Check it out. Omar is only 23 years old. He's already a world-class athlete, not only on a collegiate level, now on a professional level. He's already a world-class athlete. He's already a gold medalist Olympian at the age of 23, right? So, and he says now that he's looking to broaden his range at the international level and is planning to raid on the shortest sprints in the coming season. He is planning to focus on the 100 and 200 meter races. And if you ever look at this young man race and the intensity with which he attacks the race, look at him on the hurdles. You can tell that greatness is waiting. Omar can more than do it. McLeod is the reigning Olympic champion. Showed his power and poise to top the podium in 13.04 seconds, beating Russia's Milanola Niemde, 13.14, who is one of several athletes competing at the Games at Ray Ray Ray. With his world title joining the Olympics and the world indoor title he won in 2016, McLeod, who says he still has ambitions of breaking the 110 hurdles world record which is 1280, feels it is time to give himself another challenge and informed that he will be focusing on the 100 meter and 200 meters next season. If he is going to focus on the 100 and 200 meters next season, I'm going to say this. Look for him in the Olympics to come up because he just turned 23 years old and the Olympics, that's going to come 20, well, well, 2016, we're already in 2017, 18, 19. So, uh, 2020 will be the next Olympics. He will be 27 years old, 26, 27 years old. He'll be still fresh and young and able to do it, right? And I actually think that he is going to do it. If you ask me if he should be a part of this 4x100 meter relay team, remember I know, the 4x100 meter relay team that brought Jamaica glory was Nesta Carter, you had Usain Bolt, you had Johan Blake, and when next one named Bip, Asafa did dip on it. Yeah. And I think Asafa Paul was on it, right? Asafa, forgive me if you were not on it, or if you were on it, and me did a itch for call your name. Because Asafa is greatness, and represent Jamaica to the fullest. That's another athlete that could have, him at the, him at the, the dad's feet. He could have sold out Jamaica a long time ago, and go run for somewhere else, till him at 45 and 50 like Merlin Atty, but he never do it, right? So anyway, that was the 4x100 relay team. Remember now, that was one of the medals that Usain Bolt had to give up, relinquish, got taken away because Nesta Carter actually came on under scrutiny for and got tested and got found to be, even though I may not believe that to this day, but got found to be um, under the influence of some anabolic steroids or something that was illegal, some illegal substances and... They were stripped off that 4x100 meter medal. So, if you're going to ask me, who I don't know who the starting lineup is this time. I'm guessing Johan is on it. I'm guessing... Johan the bunny? He got to be. It's Johan, and you have... um. I don't know who the lineup is, but I think... Well, I have to be two other person. So are you saying Johan and I think McLeod should be on it? He went on to say that I have that in mind. So hopefully I will get a chance to go out there and help Jamaica to another gold medal. McLeod said last night inside the London Stadium. If I don't run it, then it's fine. But I really wanted to come out here and do my job first. So it's not a matter of him demanding it. 
actually. He said if he doesn't get it, it's fine. But he really wants to. And I'm going to say it again. Put him in the game, coach. I've been reading the comments. And people are quick to dismiss the youth. And then I say, well, to be a part of a relay team, it takes repetitious practicing like for a long time, a long period of time. I am willing to bet that this youth has been passing the baton and knows exactly how to do so in a race or can quickly pick up on how it's done on that level. And with his speed and his determination, I don't think that he should be left out of this race. I think if he goes in the race, it will more than guarantee Jamaica a gold medal. Like I said though, I don't know who the lineup is right now. We can actually look online and see it. But I'll leave that for our conversation's sake. Because I want my audience to come in. In the comment section below, tell me who are the who are, who are going to be in the lineup. Who are the four horsemen right now? And let me see if them all great. And if any of them are greater than McLeod. Alright? So it's so TV man. Like, comment, share and subscribe. Don't forget... The youth were not called Batman and Fish and all them something that he is still proudly representing his country. Him now run away from Uno even though someone who abused the youth. The youth never come out and say him gay yet. I will never catch him with no man yet. But yet still, when a slap on that thing upon him, when a slap on that, that, that tag on him that he has to wear. But he does not seem to be letting it bother him. And I'm going to say, go forward my youth and do great things. You're young. You're healthy, you're determined, and I think you can actually do it. It's SoFlo TV, man. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm up out of here. Leave your comment in the comment section below. Peace.